I have got to go to town and get some stuff done. Get out of the garden, dog. Yep. Yep. Well, anyway, I got old Paul kind of marking the rows for me. We ain't doing it too deep. I just want it kind of marked off so I know where to put it. I have to come back through and get some of that grass out, especially on this side, because this is new grass, or new ground that I tilled up. That that Paul's standing on and behind him is where my pink, my bow, my pole beans were. Anyway, he's going to do me three rows up in there while we're gone. Hopefully, if the rain will hold off, I'll come back and I'll plant some peas and maybe some beans in there it's been raining every day i think they said it's rained 41 days at the last like 80 we've got more rain this year already by the middle of july than we had all of last year uh, so it's been raining a lot so and it'll probably rain today but this ground is it, it drains really good, and that's the only reason I was able to disc it up. Uh, it's kind of sandy, but it grows really good, uh, at least down in this area. You can see all the weeds that it grows. It weeds grows pretty good. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of rake through here, and I'm going to go ahead and plant some beans. If they come up and time that we are able to harvest them, all the better. If not, at least there's something in here planted. And then I'll just disc them in for the winter. And I'll plant something over it for the winter just to keep it covered up, try and keep a, keep a little control on all these weeds. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna kind of rake through here. And get some of these weeds off the top. Now don't worry, if you're a weed lover, if you are with the Weed Saver Society and you go out and picket farmers for killing weeds, uh, I don't want you to worry, okay? There will be plenty more weeds that will come up, even though I pick all these out. And the weeds that I throw over off the side, they're probably going to come up somewhere over there too. So. You hang in there, you weed lover society, and uh, it'll be all right. I'm going to go through here and make me a, a trench all the way down. Then I'm going to come back and plant the beans. That's one crooked row. I'll straighten it out a little bit. I got one row planted. That's my beans. The other two rows... I hadn't got planted yet because we had to go do some stuff. And I went and I changed and took a shower and all that. <clears throat> so I don't want to just get out here and get all hot and sweaty again. I did want to take just a moment to thank each of you that have subscribed. And since I got you so enthralled with this video so far, I figured I'd just break in real quick before we continue on with it. I want to uh, remind you, we have an Instagram account called Life with Blending Chuck. And it has it covers a few other little things, but it also keeps you up to date whenever we have a video coming out. So if you would go over there and like that, and I'd like to get to know you. Uh, if you got questions, you want to talk, you want to have a conversation, we'll do what we can. We'll uh, we'll do that. I, I I would like to get to know some of y'all if you would. And so I'm going to leave this probably till tomorrow. And we get to that whenever I feel like. All right, I got the kidney beans. Let me open them up. See if I can open them up without spilling them all over the place. What I'm going to do? If you look down here. We're going to see if they'll come up. I'm just going to place one. I don't want it that deep. Every three inches, but I'm going to kind of split them up. So I basically have two rows, 
but they won't be right on top of each other. Now, since I'm doing this by hand, since I'm doing it by hand, it's, um, it's going to take me a few minutes, so you don't want to watch me do that the whole time, but let me show you what I'm going to do. Let me finish planting these, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. All right. I'm basically just going to come in here, I'm going to run a little dirt on them. Just cover them. that side then I'll come on this side I still got some weeds in here and I'll finish out the road well we wound up going to the garden place got some hostas got some spinach and carrots we're gonna try these lids sunshine mason don't know what they are but we're gonna give them a try got some junipers some black cow oh I got something that's a surprise I'll show y'all in a minute I have officially reached old man status. I got me a rain gauge. That way I can join all the other men that like to talk about how much rain they get. It ought to be fun. Give me some conversation. Uh, the only problem is, <clears throat> now that I've got this, even though it's rained every day for the last year and a half, maybe a little exaggeration, now it will probably be a drought. So if we don't get no rain for another six months or so, it's on me. I'll take the blame. Now what you got to do, you got to take this out, lay it on the ground. I'm going to lay this about right so... I'm going to use this and see if this will hold it up. Hopefully it will hold it up. If it don't hold it up, then I'll have to try something else. I'm using purple because that's the LSU color. And if you don't like LSU, you're wrong. See if I can. Put it like that. I should have had a yellow one, purple and gold. Well, your thing is gold. Yeah, that's gold. That's true. I'll take this. Cut that off. Cut that off. And then all you got to do is set this in like so. I'm going to turn it. Well, I can't really turn it. But that's all right. I can look at it from this other side. And I can say, hey, we got five inches of rain. I hope we don't get five inches of rain. But now I actually hope it'll rain so I can have something to talk about. <laughs>